Hi, I'm Carl with the Minor Chord Music Outfitters, Littleton, Massachusetts, and today we're here to talk about small-bodied guitars. And with me is Edge. He's one of our staff members here at the store. He's going to help me with this little demonstration. All right, so let's start with a definitely not small-bodied guitar. This is a very nice vintage Martin guitar, full size. The shape of this guitar is called a Dreadnought. And no kidding, it's named after a big World War I battleship. And uh, Martin introduced this design in the 1930s. It's turned out to be very popular. A lot of other manufacturers make the same shape now, and they're all called dread Dreadnoughts. And the Dreadnought, like the battleship, is big. Here it is. Okay. Now, I'm six feet tall. I have arms that are so long I can't properly buy shirts that fit. And the Dreadnought is the perfect size for me. If I put the guitar in my lap, you see I have no trouble at all reaching over the guitar, reaching the strings into proper playing position. No problem at all. But now if I hand this guitar to Edge, and Edge, you're how tall? I am 5'6". Five, 5'6", six. Five, six if we stretch him. And <laughs> I can see here this is not at all comfortable for you, Edge. Yeah, uh, my arm's a little you, up you, there. Your arm's like way up there, your shoulder's kind of like doing this, and if you were to play that guitar for a an extended period of time, you would have some sore joints in your arms and shoulders, I'm sure. Most likely. Okay, so uh, manufacturers have responded to this by introducing smaller body guitars. Unfortunately, up until fairly recently, they were only available in the more expensive models. Uh, so Martin produced triple O's, double O's, single O's, very nice guitars, but they're in the thousand plus dollar range. But several manufacturers just recently uh, have introduced smaller body guitars, good instruments, in that sort of five to six hundred dollar range, and we're going to show you a couple of those. First up is going to be the Martin Dreadnought Jr. So, Edge, will you go fetch that for us, please? I got gotcha. you. All right, so here's Edge back with the Dreadnought Jr., and voila, it actually has come from the play and fits you and all of that. So, it's Dreadnought shape, okay, so it's the same basic shape as the Dreadnought was, it's just slightly smaller all the way around. Now, a couple things about the Martin offering here. First, on the plus side, uh, the Dreadnought Junior is all solid wood, front, sides, and back. And I'll tell you, this is unusual for a guitar under $1,000. So it's a very impressive thing that they've done that. Um, on the negative side, the fretboard here is a composite. It's not Rosewood, it's not ebony, it's, I don't know, something they dreamed up in the chemistry lab. Uh, Martin says it plays well. Uh, frankly, it doesn't feel quite like real wood would, but again, we're talking about a $500 guitar. So if they have to uh, maybe cut a few corners somewhere, the fingerboard is not a bad place to do it. Solid wood all the way around gives you some very nice tone, very nice playability. Um, so that's the Martin uh, Dreadnought Jr. $499 in the acoustic version, $599 if you want to pick up for it. So uh, a good choice in the small body guitar uh, side of things. All right, uh, Edge, the next one we're going to do in, uh, let's say, alphabetical order uh, would be the Seagull Concert Hall. Okay, go fetch that for us, please. Can do. All right, so here we are with the Seagull um, small bodied offering. They call it their concert hall size. Um, this is an S6 concert hall uh, instrument, and uh, again, you can see it, it fits uh, Edge's five foot six size just fine. Uh, Pretty comfortable to play. Uh, construction, we have a solid cedar top on this instrument. Cedar will give you a slightly warmer tone, um, neither right nor wrong compared to spruce. A lot of people like the cedar for its tone. Um, Native cherry back and sides, laminated in this case, not solid. Uh, the, the Martin is the only of this group that has solid wood back and sides. Um, and the one thing that's very special about the Seagull instruments is that their necks here, the nuts, tend to be a little wider than pretty much any other manufacturer. Now, if you have small hands, that's not a good thing. But if you have wide stubby fingers, or if you're playing in a style like finger style, where you're moving your fingers around a lot, you need a lot of room to make sure you land on the right string, a seagull would be the right choice. Alrighty, um, and this one is uh, not available, I think, in uh, the pickup version, $4.99. Uh, again, 
for the uh, for the street price of this guy. Uh, Zach, Zach, Edge. <laughs> I got the wrong staff number. Edge. Uh, next one up is the Taylor number ten, Academy number ten. All right, and here we have Taylor's offering in this space. Taylor just introduced this line of small-bodied guitars uh, in 2017. It's called the Academy line, and they have a couple different models. We'll show you the two that we stock. Uh, first up is their Academy number 10 model. If you know the Taylor line, you know that 10 signifies a dreadnought shape. And like the other two we just showed you, we have a kind of reduced dreadnought uh, size guitar here. It's dreadnought shape, but a little smaller than the normal dreadnought instrument. Uh, not battleship size. Already, you can see, uh, you can see again, it uh, fits edge very nicely. Um, we have laminate. Uh, this is sapele, which is a mahogany type wood back and sides. Solid spruce top. And one of the nice things about Taylor is, if we look at the fretboard here, this is genuine ebony. And uh, genuine ebony is very unusual to find on a $500 price range guitar, but Taylor does that on all of their instruments, and it really, really helps the playability. Okay, uh, what else have we got to talk about on the Taylor? Well, um, there's the cutaway right here. That's right, okay. Um, so again, another feature that is practically impossible to find on a guitar under $1,000 is this bevel here, okay? This, this armrest bevel. Uh, makes it more comfortable, Zach. Uh, Zach again. <laughs> yes, you are Edge. I right. look like it. I look like a mini Zach. <laughs> no, not really. Um, so anyhow, uh, if, if Edge actually holds the guitar, you'll see that this bevel hits him on the arm exactly where that corner of the guitar body would dig into your forearm. Makes it, number one, a lot more comfortable, and number two, it actually makes the guitar feel slimmer, thinner, than it actually is, because it's easier to reach around, right? Okay, so uh, that's the Taylor Number 10 Academy. Um, the uh, Taylor people also produce a, uh, a number 12, which is a much smaller body. So give me this one, Edge, and go grab the 12. All right, so same instrument, same construction, just different shape. So Edge, hold up the, the number 12 here. See the difference? The dreadnought one, the, the 10 shape, has not much of a waist here. The 12 has much more of a waist. And it's also a little thinner. You can't see it easily. It's a little thinner that way. So small body, even smaller body for the more petite player. Um, these instruments in the straight acoustic version are 549. And with a pickup, an optional pickup, are 649. So the, all these instruments we've showed you the last four are all in the same price range. They're all good choices. We're not going to make a recommendation because, as you heard, they all have features, special features. They all have, perhaps, shortcomings, depending on your wishes and your, your playing styles. They're all good instruments, so come on in and give them a try. Thanks for watching.